In this week's episode of Working With Todoist, it's all about drag and drop. Hello and welcome to episode 125 of my Working With Todoist series. My name is Carl Pauline and in today's episode I want to show you the brand new iOS 11 feature on the iPad called drag and drop. Now Apple introduced this drag and drop feature into their new iOS operating system and for those of you guys out there using the iPad and iPad with Todoist or Todoist with iPad I should say then this is a wonderful new feature and the amazing guys at Todoist have already implemented this feature into the iPad operating system or into their iPad application and now you can use drag and drop so you can drag images, you can drag uh, text messages and various other things into the Todoist application. And in this week's episode I want to show you how to do that. Now before we move on, let me please ask you, if you like this video please click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your watching this episode and now let's get into my iPad rather than my computer and let's show you how this all works. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is how to essentially just drag an email into uh, Todoist. So all you have to do is just hold and press, move to the left and just drag it over and drop. And now what I've done is I've created a task directly in my inbox in Evernote. Is that cool or what? I just love the way that works. Now I can actually take one from over here, I can just drag that over and drag that in. It is so simple on the iPad. Um, I've been playing with this all week and I just love the way that it works. It is just such a fantastic tool to use the drag and drop feature. Okay, another way that you can actually use the drag and drop feature is if you have your photo app launched in Todoist, you can just pick a photo and just drag it and drop it in. What happens is the question, uh, the image is now placed directly in your Todoist. Now the thing is, is of course you're going to probably want to add additional information and what you'll see here is if I click on that, that's going to show you the image. It's now uploading into Evernote but as you can see there's a little marker there and we haven't got a lot of time. It's going to give me, there we go, the image has now come in. So it takes a little time to upload obviously because these are, these images were taken on an iPhone and so they're going to be quite big. But this is just one of the wonderful ways that you can take advantage of the drag and drop feature in Todoist now. Uh, I find it's particularly useful with text messages and various other things. Um, so I haven't got my text messages in there. But if I, so basically I should show you how we do set this up. So if I go there, well, let's take a message. I've got my messages here. Um, and I, all you need to do is flick up the bottom line. I'm going to drag this over here like that and let's just say that I have a message here from one of my students and she wants me to, let's say she's given me a telephone number, I can just grab hold of that, drag that and just put it into my Todoist. It's that simple. So what I really wanted to show you there was basically how you can take advantage of the drag and drop feature in Todoist. You've got images, you can use PDF files, there are so many things that you can actually use your Todoist uh, drag and drop. I could show you them all, but you get the idea. Hopefully you found this episode useful. Thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you found it useful. And if I can, and if you have any questions about this, please just leave them in the comment section below. Once again, thanks very much for watching and I wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you.